Ooh, what is up you guys? And of course always welcome back to another Are You Game with your truly Scarander. And we are going up against Rampage, which is a Twitter follower and a really good friend. Uh, the last half year this guy has been incredible, really supportive and actually have very very insightful inputs just about the community and of course the game itself. Uh, now it might be noticeable for sure, I lower the quality of this game quite a lot it's because it's been really choppy. So if you guys see that this, you know, kind of bad quality, I'm sorry, I'll look into it. Uh, I really don't like <laughs> that it looks like this, but at least try to showcase as much as I can. At least doesn't seem to be shopping right now, which is the most important part, if anything. But opponent here, Karen, the Rampage, brings Pill Swine, Terminator, Rotom, Sigalith, Rillaboom, and Vaporeon. I myself is using a choice of Bandit, Colossal, Stick of Web, uh, Vicabolt, uh, Archivish, uh, the standard fat variant, was considered life orb, but yeah, no, it, it, it's the nice type. Um, bulk up set of uh, Scrafty, all creamy, the coal mine set, and uh, Claydo, the spinner rock set. And uh, from the get go here, my opponent's team just overall looks very tough for me to dealing with naturally. Uh, there are setup opportunities with Scrafty, but. Um, I really need to deal with Sigleth in a way I feel comfortable with. The Vaporeon overall, of course, does stretch a good amount of pressure. Now, my team here is kind of weird, and uh, with that in mind, um, I I am pretty sure of uh, that Colossal won't be tremendous in this game. Um, the Choice Bandit set is not very good, and the reason is actually is UU, considered this is RU. Is because of that uh, set with spikes and or self project with spin. It fills a really strong niche, and I was rather considering that this set is by far not the most dangerous one. So yeah, and it looks like it's not shop anymore, which is incredible. So yeah, Rillaboom, not not the, not the funniest lead to deal with. Um, sure, I have ways of potentially damage it. But he has so many good switch ins. Most likely he's gonna switch out though, or go for a nice earthquake. Overall though, I don't feel very comfortable in this matchup at all. So, what I'm gonna do is bring in my Vicavolt. Now, if I'm lucky here, he goes instead of. Um, instead of earthquake, he could go for U turn. If he does that, he's gonna get massive momentum. And he does that, and. Um, a lot. It's that banded. It's that banded. I mean, Terminator is a fair switch in here. Most mods are a fair switch in versus Vigor, but Balloon, Boon is Sigalith, and uh, yeah, it absolutely keeps me at arm's length, if anything. Yeah. Air Slash or Psyche, like all of those moves does so much damage. Uh, but I do the easy play, I'm actually gonna bring back it, um, <laughs> the Coal Soil. And hopefully I take this good Heat Wave. Yeah, we're gonna eat this up, luckily. Um, now, Turtonator is probably his safest switch in. Just looking at it as it is. I think Stone Edge is my play. So it does withdraw it. Vaporeon could be the middle ground play for sure. Um, yeah, there it is. And um, we do connect to Stone Edge. Oh, it does a good chunk though. But yeah. He can freely wish if he wants to. And that's never a good thing. Now, luckily, Vaporeon does not get um, toxic so far, so we can bring in safely Arkovish. And with Water Absorbs, we don't worry about anything. So he goes to the Wish, there's really nothing to it. And, um. Yeah, I don't know. I 
I go for Rock Tomb here. To slow down any switching it does have. I think that's a good showcase, I'm not worried about him. Because looking at it, like... Our attack many mods like to stain versus me. Yeah, and I still go for Rock Tomb. He does switch out, which is good. And goes to 3SB. So, we just go for Fish's Rend here. Like, he could go back to his Vaporeon, and that will be alright. But I'm pretty sure we knock this guy out. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> Oh, that was, um, that was kind of an anti-climax, wasn't it? I thought Fish's Red would do a lot more. Um, Alright, this one is obsolete. Go for Freeze Try here, as I'm pretty sure he thinks my poor is a safe switch in. Which just kind of is. Okay, Boomer. Fair enough. Let's see. That did alright. Oh! <laughs> Got him frozen. No, I'll take any hacks I get. Um. <laughs> oh, I just wish I had something to kinda... Mm. Like, U-Turn did so much damage on me, I can't switch that in. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go keep going for Freeze Rise. I really can't do anything else. And if he falls, he falls. By the way, Rampage, I'm sorry. Like, that is... That is absolutely, like, the worst possible scenario. I did not ask for that burn. Or that freeze. It does help me though, it absolutely helps me so much. And the Rotom is going to come in for free now. And Rotom does super effective damage towards me. And uh, my real response there is Clay Duel, which do not appreciate um, the Shadow Ball that is it's a neutral good play. So there's C Shirt, it's Rotom, like, yeah. It's real nothing to it, it comes in naturally, Thunderbolts eats me alive. Like, if I mispredict this, it's going to be so annoying to kind of recover from back from it. Because I need the webs. Damn it. Ah. I had to do it. Please go for Shadow Ball. Goes a Volt Switch. Can we live? <laughs> okay, you know, I'm game. <laughs> okay. That was... That was unexpected. <laughs> alright, alright. Figgy Bird did not recover as much as I thought it would, though. Maybe that's the wrong nature to uh, benefit from it. So, Pillow Gang comes in. And... Uh, Rock Tomb is going to do nothing. So now I have a real sack play though, naturally. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually bring in Vicavolt here. As it's now it's slower, which invites me to get stick webs up, but also 
Um, if you decide to go for um, what do you call it, stealth rocks, I won't get that result damage onto me. So I think that's the ideal play. Yeah, there we go. I go for webs. And he should go to his Terminator or he stays in. So I can assume he goes for an ice little crash here. Which could take me out. I am bulky, but I'm not insanely bulky. Right. This is a good chunk. Uh, I'm gonna go for Bug Bus here. Kinda, um, I think I was Citrus, but I was Figgy. So, hopefully Ice School Crash that follows here won't take me out so I can restore my health a little bit. It's a risk. And I took it! 1 HP! Mm. Clearly, that was all according to plan. Um, but yeah, there we go. It did not recover as much as I wanted to, or um, assumed it would. Not, not, not super impressed. But yeah, easy play here is to go to my Scrafty, and um, I think I forced this Pokemon out naturally. There's Isle Crash, and it should still do a lot. We do absolutely take it. Let's see, what should his switchings be? Go for a bulk up here at least. He does switch out, so that's, that's fair to, uh, yeah that and uh, one bulk up should help but as you guys saw that was um, heavy duty boots in its finest so uh, we need to attack this we're at least faster we don't take it out oh my god I did not foresee that. I did not foresee that at all. Okay. We do have shed skin though, so that's that's good. But it's still very worrisome. Because I don't want him to spin away. Right? It kinda doesn't matter. I think I'll let him spin. Flame thrower, alright. Is whether or not Sigil if Air Slash is enough to take me out? I have reason to think it is. In combination of Rotom and Sigilith, I'm, I should be in a spot where I should at least... I should take one of those attacks. I think. <sighs> the Air Slash is still like huge on me. And if he's playing this game smart, he's gonna go for Sigilith directly, yeah. I really take a gamble if whether or not I take that hit or not. Air Slash is absolutely gonna ruin me. Whereas there's Dazzling Gleam that's gonna ruin me too. So I do this play, it's not pretty. But what else can I do? Like, I, yeah, I could benefit from it, I guess, but it's not. It's not ideal. Right, Air Slash, good. I'll just go for Flare Blitz. 
But Porn is the easy switch in, but you know, who am I to judge? Go for Psychic. Please take it. Oh, Jesus. I did not take it. This is not good. This is not good at all. I'm over Calm Mind. So it draws that. Go to Seizure. So I have a reason to believe it's potentially Scarf, right? So the right play is to go for Dazzling Gleam here. Because if it decides to go for, um, for a trick, which it does, uh, I should be able to revenge kill Sigalith in worst case scenario. Plus one, one plus Dazzling Gleam should do alright. Yeah. It has a right. Um, <clears throat> but the Siglev looks to be... Looks to be troublesome. Looks to be very troublesome. But if I get Rolum out of the way, I could potentially risk it with Scrafty. Scrafty wins versus Vaporeon and Pillswine. But versus Siglev, it's... It's a risk. Oh, it's still faster though. That is not pretty. And that is a crit. Huh. I was thinking it a little bit more than I thought it would, but not. Nah, nah, okay, you know, I'll take it. Like, I can't be mad about it. I can just, like, confirm it. Like, okay, it did that. Um, so now I have, like, the bigger questions, which is Should I just keep on attacking here? I know Vaporeon is very specially defensively bulky, so his easiest play should be going for Wish here to scout the damage. And my best play is see if Dazzling Gleam is you know, enough. Oh, absolutely not. Is really not that impressive of damage. Um, yeah, gonna bring Urshes, and I really hope he keeps scalding. He wishes. All right. That's fair. That's fair. So yeah, I don't have... I don't have a lot of power to break through this. That's right, it does decide to withdraw to Pillow Gang and... Uh, to be honest, I kinda, I kinda hope at least like Free Stride does uh, Okay, damage anyway. Oh, nah, that 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 that's thick fat. I forgot about that. <laughs> Ooh, we survive on one though. We survive on one. Um, you know what? I go for a Fisher's Rend here to see if we can get as much damage as possible. Should go for an ice shot if it's smart. Get a Fisher's Rend off, and it does. Yeah, yeah, that's good damage. That's actually really good damage. Alright, um, so we are kind of in the spot here, because like it all boils down to, uh, to this kind of situation.
Can I take an air slash from... The only positive note I kind of have here is that... Um, I have a free bulk up. I can really hope he over predicts. And uh, next turn, when I think it's going to go for Drain Punch, I'm going to go for Crunch. Go for the Stealth Rock again, okay? Don't know about that play. He is absolutely debating me. So I think Rain Punch is enough here. Yeah, so we're full HP and it's whether or not I can take a crunch. Hmm. Alright. Alright, battle ends in 60 seconds. It, it, it boils down to this. Can I take the air slash? Please! Ooh, what do we do? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Scrafty! Scrafty! I didn't even... Why didn't I risk it before? Why didn't I do it? It all boils down to if we can actually wrap the game up here. At least we are... Winning-ish? And it might have been for that freeze alone versus Rillaboom. But it goes down to the timer. And if I were a shit person, I would stall that timer out to to gain this win. But, you know, I'm not like that. If that... Uh, I can't even beat this Mondo. I can't beat Vaporeon. Before the timer, that is. We'll see. So he goes for Skull, and I think we get one more turn, and that's gonna be a wrap. So, we don't get to knock out Vaporeon, but, uh, yeah. If this game were to continue... Um, it would have been basically me just setting up bulk up and rest with Vaporeon to eventually be able to knock it out. But, like I said it before, um, absolutely was the only benefit factor and decisive factor here was that I got to freeze on Rillaboom. And consider he got me burned, you know, with, um, with Turtonator, I'm absolutely say he, um, he played this game a lot smaller than I did. And all the reason I win is because of Scrafty. Kind of bulked that through. <laughs> Which was just luck. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> and of course, um, I could have risked it versus the, um, versus the Sigalith, but didn't dare to. Like, if I lost Scrafty, the game would have been a wrap. Right there and then. So, I'm just really, really glad I was able to pull this game through. And to Rampage... Good game on you, man. It was... It was a nail-biter. I think you... Like I said, you deserve this game. Absolutely. Consider that freeze. I don't know if I would have been able naturally to beat Rillaboom. It did so much damage with the U-turn. It had to be banded. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And have a great day, alright? Take care.